With the Nickel State Colonels in town, the Bobcats are looking for their third win in a row and put an emphasis on stopping Colonels quarterback LaQuinton Caston. After forcing a three and out on Nichols' first drive of the game, the Bobcats get a big play on special teams with Joplo Bartu blocking the punt. And four plays later, the Bobcats set up for a 32-yard field goal attempt. At least that's what we thought. Sean Rutherford finds tight end David Lewis in the back of the end zone and the fake field goal pays off, giving the Bobcats an early 7-0 lead. On the Colonels' ensuing possession, the Bobcats' pursuit of Caston continues and while it was a long day for the junior quarterback, it was the beginning of a big day for Texas State's Michael Levitt, who picks up two of his four sacks on the drive, forcing another punt. Bobcat quarterback Sean Rutherford had good protection all game long, giving him time to make plays from the pocket, but after an Isaiah battle fumble, the Colonels have the ball back, and despite the Bobcats getting more pressure on Caston, the Colonels score on a Caston touchdown run, but are unable to tie the game as Blake McCulloch blocks the extra point as the Bobcats maintain a slim 7-6 lead. Following the touchdown, the Colonels kick off to senior Derek Lopez, who's in his first season returning kicks, but he looks like he's done this before, slicing through Nichols' kick coverage and breaking tackles until he's finally brought down 52 yards later, setting up the Bobcats inside of midfield. After another Bobcat turnover, the Colonels have the ball back, but not for long. Marcus Washington has the ball popped loose by Bartu, and the fumble is recovered by Justin Wuji, giving the ball right back to Texas State. And four plays later, Will Johnson lines up for a 34-yard field goal. No fake this time, and Johnson knocks it through, giving the Cats a 10-6 lead. We head to the second quarter, and guess what? More Bobcat pressure on Caston. This time it's Brian Awuji on the tackle of the Colonel quarterback. Marcus Curry was limited on Saturday with a bum ankle, but made his share of plays, and we'll hear more from Curry momentarily. The Bobcat defense hits Caston again and forces another three and out of the Nickel State offense, and Texas State just continued to make plays on special teams. First, it was a fake field goal, then a blocked extra point. Derek Lopez's big return. And now, Andy Erickson, who slaloms past would-be tacklers on a 37-yard return is setting up the Bobcats deep in Colonel territory. Two plays later, second and seven from the Nichols State 20-yard line, quarterback Sean Rutherford back to throw, can't find anyone to his left, buys time, and we told you, you would hear more from Marcus Curry, who makes the catch for the touchdown, putting the Cats in front 17-6. Colonels face with third and 10 for their own 37. Caston again running for his life, but can't escape Ron Jackson, the Bobcat senior with the sack, the Bobcats fourth of the first half. Bobcats back at offense, Terrence Franks with a nice burst to the outside and the redshirt freshman picks up 13 yards. That sets up the play action pass. Rutherford delivers a strike to a wide open David Lewis who barrels through defenders, eventually picking up 27 yards on the play. And moments later, it's Franks again and once he's in the clear, you're not catching him. 23 yards to pay dirt for Franks who gives the Cats a 24-6 lead. The first half fittingly ends with the Bobcats getting to LaQuinn Caston again. This time, it's Aaron Matthews coming off the blitz to get the sack. And after a punishing first half by the Bobcat defense, we go into the locker rooms with Texas State leading Nichols by a score of 24-6. to